Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome on this gorgeous October day where yes, in Montreal, I'm actually doing a video tutorial outside, so that's great. Okay, so today I wanted to do a short video on how to give yourself some minor trims. And I've recently picked up on two techniques that are so idiot proof uh, for people like me that I wanted to share them with you. And they're especially great if you're trying to grow out your hair and want to stretch out those salon visits, um, all while keeping your hair in relatively good shape and without sacrificing any precious length. We know how important that is when we're trying to grow out our hair. Okay, so uh, the first technique I picked up on was from my hairstylist. And the second one, is from a great blogger that I've been following recently. Her name is Kara, and she's got a great blog. It's called mascara.com, and I'll post her information down below. And while hers is not a video tutorial, she does a great job through images to show you this technique, and she's got some great before and after pictures to show you uh, the impact that this little tiny technique has on the overall appearance of your hair. Okay, so for this, you'll need a comb, Make sure that your hair is smooth and tangle free. If you have really curly, curly hair, I suggest you wait till you straighten your hair to do this or when it's a little wavy because I think you'd have a really hard time uh, to do this while your hair is extremely curly. Then you'll need some sharp scissors. Now you're not giving yourself a major trim here or cut, um, so you don't have to run out and get some professional shears, but as long as you're working with some nice sharp scissors that are not dull, that'll do the job. And of course, last but not least, you'll need some sort of hair clip to help you section off your hair as you're doing this. Okay, so the first technique, like I said, is from um, my hairstylist. And the last time I was there, she was doing this crazy, curly, twisty thing with my hair. And I asked her what she was doing, and she said that she was basically dusting off or cleaning off those dead ends, those dried ends, those white tips. You know what I'm talking about. And I asked her if it was something that I could do myself at home, and she said absolutely. And so I have been doing it, and it is so easy that I really wanted to show you. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a section of hair about an inch or an inch and a half wide, and you are going to twist it. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go rather quickly here, because once you've seen it once, uh, that's it. You've mastered the art. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to twist and twist and twist. And the idea here is to snip off those ends that are sticking up. I actually saw this on Pinterest as well, which is neat. It means other people are doing it too, and it works. And what you're going to do is you're going to snip off those little ends that are sticking up because those are the hairs that are contributing to making your hair look unhealthy. It's, it's the dead ends that we want to get rid of. And I don't start cutting from the top, no. I start mid-lengths of my hair and I work to the ends. And I'm going to try to show it to you and I'm hoping that you can see the little hairs that I'm referring to. Um, do you see them right there? They're sticking up. I don't have many because I've been doing this often. But if you can't see it, I will post some close-ups of the hairs that I'm referring to down below my blog. Okay, so don't despair. Okay, so there you go. Once you've got your little uh, tight twisty thing going, you just go ahead and work your way up and you will cut off those ends. And this is so much fun to do. And don't be afraid. I'm one who's usually afraid to touch my hair, but... This technique is just so simple that even I could do it. And that's about it. I love to do this in the summer outside when I've got nothing to do with my cup of coffee. Uh, it's become my new hobby or while I'm watching a movie as well. That works great too. So that's about it. When you're done, take your clip, move that piece of hair that you've done aside and work on another section. So that's it for the first technique. The second technique is the one from Kara, and the idea is pretty similar. What you're going to do is you're going to take a section of hair, and you are going to, okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to weave that section of hair through the middle three fingers of your hand, like so, and you're going to, same idea, the hairs that are sticking up are the ones that you want to cut off. And wherever you want to start, I tend to start, like I said, mid-length, and the ones that are popping up yep. and the ones that are popping up are the ones that you're going to just cut off. And like I said, Carrie does a great job on her blog to show you how uh, to do this as well as uh, the impact that it has. You'd be amazed. 
And that's about it. Work all the way to the bottom, especially when you see those split ends popping up. And that's it. And I've noticed that since I've been doing this, my hair is just so much more manageable. The ends are not tangled all the time. This is great. And um, when I'm done, what I'll do is I'll take some pure virgin coconut oil and I'll rub it in the palms of my hand and I'll run it through to the ends of my hair just to give them that extra nourishment, that extra TLC that they need. Or I'll use the macadamia healing oil spray that also works great. So that's it. I hope you found um, this video uh, enjoyable. I hope you'll benefit from it. If you have any techniques of your own, please do share them with me or post them down below. Uh, I'd love to, to, to hear that. And if you have any questions, those two, leave them below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and wishing you an excellent day. Bye-bye.